Hello and welcome. We are back with Airborne Kingdom. A new DLC was released. It's called The Lost Tundra. Today we will be starting a playthrough of the new DLC content and see where that takes us. So let's get started. A north wind beckons. A chill wind bristles each of our spines. At first we dismiss the peculiar sensation, but the gusts continue. It is clear, something big has changed. The breeze always blows from the north, colder than any air we have felt. It calls to us to explore, perhaps further north than we have ever been. We shall seek out the cold. We finished our last playthrough of the original game uh, on this channel not too long ago. The link to that series will be in the description. At the end of that playthrough, we had to go back all the way south to the Tapestry Ruins. This means we have to travel all the way north. I will spare you the wait and we will skip through that part quickly. And here we are in the north. While flying north, I added uh, quite a few things to the city. And we are now at 257 inhabitants. And um, we are producing enough water. We have quite a lot of lift. And uh, we also produce enough coal to keep our um, city afloat. I also found all the wonders so I unlock those and place them the tranquil gardens is removing all displeasures from inhabitants so that is great you can now build whatever you want next to housing they don't mind anymore we also have the nomads orrery it refills the entire world map which is very useful I added use that to find the final piece for the library and this is the great library and it improves the efficiency to all propulsion lift and production buildings so that is great that makes our city a lot better for going into the cold we can see that that area is the cold and we're going to fly into it so let's go and do that and see what the north will bring Here we go. Beware the lost tundra. We venture further north than we have ever traveled. And we spot curiosity in the distance. Have those planes always been there? Some of our people have heard rumors of this place. And we encourage them to speak what they know. They say these areas are the lost tundra. The most frigid climate that any have known. The frost slows gears turning, so many of our buildings will be impacted. We must ensure we have enough lift, propulsion and resource generation to compensate. Notably, there are zero coal, water or food deposits in these areas. If we still have other tasks to attend to, perhaps our focus is better turned to those. And save this area for less. Okay, well, we increased the resource production while flying north. So let's go see if we can find anything here that we need to do. I'm sure we're going to get a quest as soon as we find a settlement. There is some forest, so that is good. We can store... Well, we have plenty of trees right now. We don't have a lot of adobe. We have so much iron in canvas. We can use that to, to trade, maybe. Um, here is a settlement. A known settlement. Let's go there first. We have clay. We have ore. Forest. So no water, no coal. That is okay. No food. We, we are producing some of that. Frost takes hold. The temperature plummets as we cross into the lost tundra. Our lift 
propulsion and resource buildings begin to whine as their gears slow. It seems the cold is still manageable in this area, but the further north we go, the colder it will get. If we are overwhelmed, we can always move back south to warmer air. We must pay special care to our lift in particular. Falling out of the skies is not unthinkable. Well, we have quite a bit of overhead on our lift, but it's dropping. Um, so, yeah, that is... Okay, that is, it's settled down now at 582. So, that is okay. We are no longer producing additional water. So, that is set to zero. And we are losing a little bit of coal. Uh, we should still be alright to venture a little bit deeper into the frozen areas. Here we have a frozen encampment. The cold has gripped our kingdom already and we feel our gears slowing. As we look over the ice below, a shocking sight. We see a fire in the distance. Our approach takes the encampment by surprise. They have not seen another traveler in years, let alone a flying city. Though it is cold here, Deeper in the Lost Tundra, the temperature plummets and any mechanics become even less efficient. Yet this valley was not always frigid. Lost ruins lay waiting to be found in the cold. Those who have sought such treasures have not returned. The frost have been even harsher in recent times. Families and friends plot that we may find their loved ones. They are certain their explorers must still be lost in the wastes. They reckon such adventurers would surely be inclined to join us as well, expanding our kingdom further. We shall find them. Okay, let's see what technologies they have. They have a furnace. That seems very useful. Counters the cold of the lost tundra with a small range, allowing buildings to work at maximum efficiency. Purchase for five. We have plenty of those as well. Let's buy it. Um, do we need any resources? Do we want to get some water and some food? Yeah, we might as well stock up on that. Um, we are good with that, so let's get the food. What do you want? We can give you plenty of those. We'll stock up all the way to 130 for the food. As for water, do they have water? They do. So we're going to go and give them some iron for that. And we stock up completely on that as well. There we go. That is good. Okay, let's uh, let's fly a little bit further north and see what we can find. We do have the map unlocked, so we do know where things are. So they're stranded explorers, explorers, explorers. We have three of them. So let's go north and get them. That is very useful that we now have that map unlock wonder. I don't know if they should have kept that in for the expansion, the DLC, but it is nice that we can see now what's going on. Uh, do we need quartz? We don't. Clay would be a thing that we could use because we, we could do with some more Adobe. So as soon as we get in range, we're going to send out some of our airplanes and then they can pick up the clay here we go let's uh, get all of them busy and we'll continue flying further north to get to these lost travelers what's this we have ore we don't really need any more um, of that because we have plenty of iron that we also get uh, plenty of ore from our uh, our c cities that we have uncovered. All right, hopefully the the cold doesn't pick up too much over here. We have wood. Do we need to get? No, we're good. We're good on that. More clay. No. We'll just we'll just go north and get those people um, we do need houses though for those people so let's see what we can do with that I did add a couple of houses here I'm gonna pause for a second 
I'm gonna put some housing on top of those so that we have a little room for those stranded people if they want to join us. We're getting close now. They are right over there. And we have to find 12 of them. Okay, so is that 12 encampments or is that 12 people? Stranded explorers. We ask if they need assistance. And they are thrilled by the rescue. They agree to join our cause, hoping for more adventure, but a better outcome than their recent exploits. They also give us their remaining supplies. Oh, that is nice of them. Okay. So... Now we can look and see that is just one. So we need to find 12 of those stranded um, explorers. So we're going to go ahead and go east first. And go rescue them over here. We got to keep an eye on our resources. We got to keep an eye on our lift. Because this is dropping even further. Okay. Okay. So everything is coming to a halt. Once our research, what we're currently researching is um, this uh, larger range for the spirit healer. Once that is completed, we will research that new furnace and we can warm our city a little bit. Let's see. We are going right there because that is where more stranded people are located. Right. So let's recruit them. We do have room for two more. Um, same thing. They're giving us their remaining supplies. We did get four more people. That was one thing that once I crossed the 250 population mark, I got a message from the developers saying that the game was initially less big and... Um, any population above 100 or 250 could cause problems with the performance. So now we're getting even more. So we'll keep an eye on that as well. Okay, let's. Uh, are we going to go straight ahead and go for these? I think we can, right? Let's go see if that is. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. We got to go back. We got to figure out an increment in lift first because the lift is now at 429 and we are using 422 so we have to expand our city first so let's go back south and um, see what we all need to get our lift going if we add more vertical rotors they don't need workers so that is good um, but they do use high fuel these ones, not so much. They are using one worker. We have we have a lot of idle workers, so we could add some of this. Uh, I'm going to add both sides. We're going to add some lift over there to see how that goes. And we need to get that furnace going so we can set that close to these rotors and have this all unfrozen and work at full speed. I think that is a good idea. Oh, we have a cold meter here as well. So we're okay now. Um, yeah, our lift is, is going up again. And we, of course, have these additional ones now. Okay, so let's see how many hours are left for research. 10 hours left. That's not too bad. We are going to collect some wood from over there because... We need that for constructing other things as well. We're okay on housing. Everybody is still very jubilant. One overall comfort that is easy to solve because we can always place more greeneries. They cost one um, canvas and that is very cheap. So we can add those and they give us um, comfort so that is good and and the canvases are 
immediately created anyways. We get them back so quickly. Um, as for... An Adobe, we're still making some. We could do with some quartz as well. So, let's get some quartz. There we go. Get those emptied out. And... We currently have 2 out of 12. So I guess that is what our target will be. Getting all 12 of them rescued. Clay is... Do we want clay? Yeah, let's get some clay as well. We're getting all the resources. The food stays pretty much at 130. I thought it says minus 1, so why is it not dropping? And the water still remains as well in, in 80 out of 80 which is interesting I don't I'm not complaining it, it just seems weird that it says minus 1 and minus 0 0.2 but the numbers are not dropping okay we have everything emptied out and this is still five hours left okay we're gonna go maybe we go get those because those are still in range of what we need to do, I think, if, where we can still safely fly. I think that it's that way. Yep, we should be able to get there. And we have a forest on the way as well, if we need to pick up some more. But we do not have any more storage. We can always dump some canvases and some iron. Don't really care for those. We have plenty. It's fun to be back in the game after we recently did the playthrough. It's nice that the DLC was announced very shortly after we did the playthrough. Hopefully there is more to it than just getting those 12 people. Because otherwise it's kind of meh. That's not a lot of content. Of course you need to take care of your city by managing the cold. but Which is different than, than you used to in the base game. But it would be nice if we could, like, maybe unlock another wonder or something like that. Get some additional buildings because I'm sure there is more than just the one furnace. Um, more quartz. Well, we could do with a little bit more quartz. Then we can get some more glass as well. Because we always need glass for all the water pumps and stuff very cold we're very cold now oh here is the here's the stranded villages and we have the spirit healer upgraded so where is here's the furnace okay so counters the cold yes research one hour that is not not very long hopefully we get some additional upgrades with that um like range or something that would be nice. Okay, we ask if they need assistance. They give us some remaining supplies. Everybody happy? We're at 267. And we only have room for one more person. So we do need to expand that. And now we have our furnace. Nope, there is no additional upgrades for this. Um... What should we try and upgrade? Maybe we can do some more over here. We could research a balloon. Um, eh, we could we could try and get the balloon going, or we can yeah we probably should get more lift because that dropped very quickly. We just saw. Okay, we have the furnace now. So let's see what the furnace it takes. Wow, it takes a lot of resources. Um, so it's good that we producing all of those. It also takes four people. And the range is, uh, is okay. The balloon is researched. So let's get the better lift out of the balloon. Okay. So we're going to set a furnace right over here, I think. 
Is that good? Yeah, I think this is okay because that gives us these oars and this wing and then the um, car coil producers and then this fan. So yeah, I think that is a good place. So we'll do the same over on that side. And that should keep us in the air a little bit better. Let's wait until they're finished because that should be done pretty quickly. 496, 511. So that, that helps quite a bit to keep the uh, lift going. We also have the balloons now for the lift. They only take up one spot. Um, so we could place those in small areas like here and here just to help us lift a little bit more. They don't give a lot, but they should give us some. And I should place one over here as well. If we don't have that room, same room over on this end, which is unfortunate because that would be near the furnace. Um, okay, well, we are now at 523. So yeah, that didn't really do much. Let's, uh, let's go find some more. What is this? Sapphire crane ruins. That seems like a great place to go, but let's go to the ponds first. Let's work our way upwards to the far north where I'm sure our city will crash and burn. No, I'm, I'm, we're going to prevent that, of course. We're going to not let this drop out of the sky. Um, are we going the right direction? Uh, sort of. It's that way. Yeah, that is exactly where we need to go. And once we get there, that's probably also going to be it for this episode. I will continue with this uh, series. We're just going to we're going to finish the DLC because that seems like a good thing to do. Here we go. Unknown ruin. Well, we kind of already know what it is, no? Because it says it on the map. Is that more colors for our city? Because we never really use that. I, th I think the city is is looking great. It's pretty big. We have the, uh, the old city center over here. And basically this is the new city center. And then we have the farming area. Water production. Storage facilities. And here, yeah, this is just colors, right? Yes. We take this, we can customize our buildings. Okay, because can we upgrade these? I don't remember if we could. Could you place these on top of each other? No, you can't. Because we could do it a little bit more. Ah, we're, we're doing all right on the storage right now. All right. So we're okay with the lift at the moment. It's uh, very cold. We, our production, I, I, I really don't know how this is not dropping, but yeah, that is okay. So we have food, we have water. We're producing some parts. We can get clay, we can get um, quartz for the glass and for the adobe. So we can make anything we need. I think we're on a good spot right now. So this is where we're going to leave this episode. We'll be back soon with the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button. If you're not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. I also stream on Twitch and we have a Discord server. Both of those links are in the description. I'll see you all soon. Take care.